We're starting off the new year 2015 with a look at some of my crappiest Hot Wheels and other assorted brands. I got this box from a friend of mine who is also around my age in his early 30s. And these were sitting in a garage for quite some time, so in no particular order. Let's see what happened to these abused vehicles through his lifetime of playing with them in storage. There's a wonderful example of a Baja Bruiser with an opening hood. Well, it seems to be seized. Next up, we have a nice little Yatming Firebird by the looks of it. At least this one still rolls. Kind of. And here we have a Majorette Ambulance of some sort. Wow, there's almost no paint left on this thing except for three corners of the first aid cross. The plastic uh, rear opening door seems to have not suffered too much damage. This thing feels like a stick of chalk. Well, what do we got here? A component of a Hot Wheels steering rig circa 1983 missing its steering wheel. The cab and uh, leaves a lot to be desired as far as a collectible goes. Next up, we've got this Majorette Toyota pickup truck with opening hood. Not much more to say about than that. Oh, and look at this. We've got a Jeep Cherokee Majorette ambulance vehicle of some sort. Missing more paint than even its predecessor that we just showed. Oh, dear. Look at those wheels, they've even got rust just seeping out of the axles, cracked windows and everything. Well this unit looks to be hand painted in some variety of spray colors and it's got some damage and uh, just overall a real piece of crap. And a Majorette Jeep, never liked these Majorette Jeeps even when they were mint. The proportions are all wrong. That base is just ridiculous. Why? Why does it have such a thick base on the bottom of it? I don't know. Never liked that one. Not a big fan of this one either. It's a Corgi, I believe. Corgi fire engine of some sort. Yes, it is. Just kind of a goofy looking truck. I know it's based on a real vehicle, but the scale is just horrendous. Look at it next to that Jeep. Oh my. Well, there's a beautiful old 80s Hot Wheels Corvette with the opening hood. Definitely needs a little bit of WD-40 on that hinge. The wheels do not even turn. Oh, that's a sickening sound. Okay, next. Oh, wow. Hot Wheels uh, Fire Chief. Big deal. And here we've got a Majorette uh, something or other. Or it's a matchbox. Looks like the door is open, but they do not open. There's definitely a blown head gasket on that motor. There's oil and coolant everywhere. Here's a cool little car. Another Majorette. Volkswagen Golf. Don't see too many of these on the road anymore with this vintage. Looks like it's missing a hatch. Kind of squashed. Oh, look at this bus. The Greyhound. MCI 8 just oh it's got a bit of a wiggle just pooched just pooched and we got some farm implements here that looks to be a Lesney it's not the first generation one it doesn't have the uh, removable wheels didn't we already look at this one another Toyota Majorette pickup truck this one's missing the roll bar yeah there's the other one it's underneath I can see it And a Hot Wheels Caterpillar. This is probably a first generation. Hong Kong base. Yes, this one would be from about 1980. Amazing these things still work, you know? Probably had a whole life in the sandbox. And what Hot Wheels collection from the 1980s is complete without a beat up old fire truck? Would not be complete without it. 
Nice little Lesney uh, side hauler cargo truck of some sorts. Missing the crate. Ooh, this thing's ugly. Don't even know what it is. It must be a Yatming. Doesn't say much. Mack truck. Weighs less than a pack of Skittles. Not much die cast in there. Yeah, stupid trailer. Oh, a Hot Wheels color magic, change color, what have you. Lamborghini Countach. I highly doubt that one will be changing back and forth between pink and white anymore. And we've got a Yatming uh, 58 or 55 Corvette here. The opening doors. When Road Champs bought out Yatming, they would uh, reuse this casting for quite some time. It's been around for a while. This Supra has definitely seen better days. Hot Wheels 1982 Supra. Not even worth looking for a base variation on that one. Oh, geez, this one's been painted. Lesney, it's got steel wheels, tilting cab. Must have been red at one point. The engine's the only thing that didn't suffer. Oh, here's a nice little matchbox. Mercedes-Benz taxi with opening doors. Look at that suspension. Oh, a non-noteworthy matchbox crappy looking truck. Hot Wheels crack up. Missing the tailgate which would otherwise make this a functional vehicle. They usually are missing them, even in better condition than this. There's an old Hot Wheels Neat Streeter, probably an 81. Hands are getting really grimy feeling now. This is quite the box here. Uh, nondescript Ertl Jeep. Daisy Duke, most likely. Ooh, talking about hideous looking Jeeps. Look at this thing. Matchbox, hideous looking Jeep. Hey, probably my favorite one so far. Good old Cadillac Seville. That one's going to go right in the junkyard. Formula 5000. Seen better days. Hot Wheels 1978. Matchbox or Lesney armored truck. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Not cool. Not a cool truck. Looks like garbage matchbox. Oh, another garbage Lesney matchbox truck. They look terrible when they're missing their boom and all the lights and the windows and everything like this one. Should have been a bucket truck of some sort. Not doing any work now, though. Look at that crack up. Looks like it had a fight with a battery acid. A bucket of battery acid, probably. The door isn't even stuck in the right position. It's like halfway down as if it got pummeled from the rear. Junk. Another Hot Wheels change color car. These cars just, when they stop working, do they not ever stop at the most hideous color ever? Hideous. Another hideous change color. Ferrari Testarossa. You really got to collect those ones in mint shape if you want them to look nice at all. Oh, and I like this casting too. That one's got some character. Look at that. Pa probably stepped on it. The old blown Camaro from 82. There's a nondescript Majorette uh, truck missing its box. It would have clipped on the back there. Matchbox cargo trailer for one of those ugly looking trucks that we were looking at earlier. And this truck... Looks like a uh, Majorette. Definitely seen better days. Had a front end collision with a rhinoceros. Oh, a nice old 80s Camaro. Hot Wheels, 1980. Byway Man with some issues, of course. Always good for the junkyard, though. Ooh, probably the oldest Hot Wheel I've seen so far is this P917. It is a black wall, though, with a plastic base. So, therefore, worth absolutely nothing in this condition. And a Hot Bird. What Hot Wheels collection doesn't have a broken down Hot Bird in it? Or a tractor. Missing its bucket. 
Real Rider, of course, missing all of its tires. Three window. Ooh, Hot Wheels Turbo Heater, 1983, with some yarn stuck to the rear axle. Another hideous change color Ferrari Testarossa. Looks to be a matchbox cab over. Not a cab over. Another broken down truck. Portion of a majorette trailer. Only a few left here. We got one of the Hot Wheels flipping vault vans. There's the little flipper on the bottom. Seized, of course. Ooh, that crane seen better days. Well, it looks like another change color car. Stuck in puke orange. And a majorette tractor. And last but not least, a Baja Bruiser 1981 or 80 in garbage condition. So that's my New Year's crap haul for anyone that's interested in crappy cars. You might find some of these at the flea market for a nickel a piece. If you do, buy them up. They make awesome junkyard cars. Happy hunting, everyone.